all of us have our own love stories. Some are short, others long, and some are just beginning. And that brings us here today. Friends and family, we have gathered here today to rejoice and celebrate the ultimate act of commitment and love that two people can exhibit. Michael and Alexandra have decided to commit themselves to one another's hearts, to share in all of life's incredible moments, and to help assist in making each other's dreams realities. Today is a celebration of love, friendship, family, and two people who embrace this commitment forever. Life is too short not to love someone who lets you be a fool with them. You're teaming up and saying to the other, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be part of. Everyone is here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't just happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment, not even this moment. It's every moment. Big ones like saying, I love you for the very first time, getting engaged, and today, the biggest moment of all, getting married. Frankie, I take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage and inspire you, and to love you through good times and bad. I will be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures together, now and forevermore. Allie, wear this ring as a sign of my friendship, love, and trust. You're my love and my best friend. Mikey, wear this ring as a sign of my friendship, love, and trust. You are my love and my best friend. It is with great joy and happiness I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may share your first kiss. I just want everybody to take a second, look around. This is what this couple has brought together. Look how many people that want to come and celebrate what they've brought. I've known Mikey my whole life. We grew up on the same street, caused a lot of ruckus together. I remember when he moved away back in uh, first grade. I cried my eyes out that night. Really watching these two go from adorable high school couple to a beautiful husband and wife says the persistence that they have for the love of one another. I've seen them go through homecomings, proms, colleges, career choices, buying a house, and now a wedding. So I toast to you guys for the persistence and love that you guys have. And if they showed us anything in 2020, they will meet the challenges together and they'll meet them head on. I'm sure you guys know, but you guys are lucky. You have something that a lot of people don't have. You have amazing families. So. The good times, the bad, you guys are always going to have family. I'd like to cheers to family and to Allie and Mikey. Me and Allie have a really funny relationship because when we were kids, you know, we played together great, you know, we got along, it was great. Allie went to high school and the hormones kicked in. It was not good, I mean, I got bullied. <laughs> Being the middle schooler that I was, you know, I was a little punk, did not make the best first impression on Allie's future husband. So ever since then, I think me and Allie became best friends. Like I, it was meeting Mikey, going off to college, she changed and I, I love that Allie. <laughs> since then I've realized what a selfless person Allie is. She always does things, you know, thinking of other people. I know they're gonna do great together. So if we could all just raise your glass and cheers to everlasting love, happiness, 
and finding someone that would put up with our Sakoni shenanigans. <laughs> I love you both. <laughs>